Magnesium. It's never been more important to take magnesium than it is today. It's critical, critical for everybody who's taken the mRNA vac vaccines. Because according to the head of the vaccine department in the FDA, Dr. Vinny Prasad, who was hired, I don't know if he was fired or quit and then rehired. He's back there at the FDA, which I consider to be a terrorist, terrorist organization, medical terrorists. Back in 2022, he reported on the subclinical myocarditis, which is different than clinical myocarditis, which can be diagnosed by doctors, but subclinical cannot be or isn't. And basically, when you have heart damage, there's an enzyme that's released into the bloodstream, and he was measuring that enzyme and finding it in all the vaccinated population. There's a big fight, a big war going on between Kennedy and his associates and the whole medical industrial complex over many things, but especially vaccines and especially these COVID vaccines. What I want to talk though about is magnesium. I recently published an essay that magnesium deficiencies, which is has been an epidemic for decades already, because the nutritional value of foods has been declining, especially with magnesium, vitamin C. An orange only has about half the vitamin C it had 70 years ago. A great part of the population is not getting enough magnesium every day. So the deficiencies become worse over time. And we are seeing an incredible amount of disease in young and old alike. Magnesium should be on the top of the list of what you think to take, not only for cardi cardiovascular disease, because magnesium protects the heart, but also for cancer, neurological diseases. Magnesium is a neurological mineral. So it's very calming. People take magnesium baths before bed, so they sleep better, people who have insomnia. I'm the only doctor in the world who's written three books on magnesium. The first one put me on the medical map of the world, transdermal magnesium therapy. Then I wrote a book, a Magnesium, the Ultimate Heart Medicine. And there are people who say that millions of people die, have died of, of cardiac arrest when they're really dying of magnesium deficiency. And doctors refuse, cardiologists refuse to, uh, to prescribe it. Magnesium is crucial. It's, it comes in many different forms liquid for topical use called magnesium oil, which is magnesium chloride at 35%. And then you have um, a pill, many different pills. They're all good. Magnesium oxide is probably the hardest to digest. Magnesium is the, the answer to constipation. Take enough magnesium, it's going to open up your intestines. Diabetes, metabolic syndrome. I got diagnosed with diabetes about four years ago and cured it in two weeks by taking mega doses of magnesium. I have no doubt if I had not been taking magnesium and had more magnesium massages than anybody alive, I'd be dead already. The third book centered on magnesium was my book on diabetes which I wrote many years ago, and I'm updating it and making a course. 
Magnesium is responsible for I, uh, insulin production, in the geometry of insulin, insulin shape, so its efficiency, and, and cell wall receptivity to insulin. It's crucial for diabetes. Is it prescribed? No. Don't forget your magnesium. And you can take high dosages. Of course, your limit is, is uh, when, uh, diarrhea. But you should know, it's called bowel tolerance. You should know where that is. You should take enough magnesium to open up your intestines, and then you drop the dosage, your body get used to it, and then you can increase it again. Magnesium, magnesium, magnesium. So important for health, longevity, neurological function. Don't forget your magnesium. Subscribe for free and receive my weekly writings and videos directly in your inbox, staying connected to real medicine. And if you want to go deeper, become a paid member for exclusive videos and content that you won't find anywhere else.